This is the Schmo with the pro with former UFC strawweight, now Invicta strawweight, K Hansen in the flesh. Just finished up Club UNF broadcast. How are we doing? I'm doing great. Tonight was fun. Um, venturing into broadcasting a little bit, so I love the sport, so it's nice to be involved anyway. Yeah, what'd you make of your experience doing the commentary, doing the interviews? It was great working with you, by the way. Thank you. It's so different being on the other side of the mic. I'm used to being on this side, but um, it's definitely something I'd like to pursue uh, alongside fighting. Yeah, what's your favorite part about talking to these fighters? Because you're one of them yourself. I mean, I think I just, I like knowing what they want to be asked and what they don't want to be asked. Because as a fighter, sometimes you get asked questions that are like repetitive, but it's nice to like, to know what they do and don't want to be asked, if that makes sense. So what do you think is the best thing to ask these guys? I don't know. I got to do more thinking. <laughs> I'm not good on the spot. <laughs> well, it's okay. We'll talk to the schmo for a second. Obviously, you're an exciting young fighter, 23 years young. Yes. When can we expect to see you returning inside the cage? I'm hoping to be back by, like, November. I'm coming back from a hand injury right now. Uh, so around, like, late fall, early winter is what I'm aiming for. What do you think you learned the most from the time off you've had so far from competing inside the cage? For me, ever since I was 16, I've been in the gym 24-7. This is the first time I've taken, like, some time to actually, like, recollect myself and, like, mentally kind of reset. So it's been really nice, um, but I'm definitely itching to get back in there. What do you make of what's going on right now in your former promotion? We got Amanda Nunez retiring. Yeah. There's rumors of Ronda Rousey potentially returning. Yeah. Juliana Payne, do you think she's fighting for this vacuum? Bantamweight strap? Do you think it's Raquel Pennington? What do you think's going on here? Um, I think Raquel Pennington's a, a good matchup to make. I also think, uh, I heard a rumor about maybe Aaron Blanchfield going up, and I think that would be a cool matchup to see some new blood in the 135 division. But um, either way, I'm excited to see who fights for the belt next. Who do you think's going to be the youngest champion to win the next wave of belts right now in the UFC? Do you think it's going to be an Aaron Blanchfield? Do you think it's going to be a Macy Barber? Who do you think it's going to be? I'm going more towards like a, an Aaron Blanchfield. I think she's very sound. She's a grappler and she's a very smart fighter. And I feel like she evolves every fight. What was your favorite part of your UFC career? What would you do differently if maybe you could do it over again? I think um, I took my last two fights pretty back to back. I signed my bout agreement just a couple days after one of my last fights. Um, so maybe just taking time in between and not feeling like I'm rushed. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself. So. Me thinking I have to fight back to back to back when in reality I can have time in between and like develop more in between. So who would you say you are right now and who do you want to be five years from now? I want to be a champion five years from now. <laughs> so I don't know what I am now, but in five years I want to be a champion. And can we get a final message for all the K Hansen fans out there worldwide? Thank you for all the support and I will be back in the cage soon. She's the pro, I'm the schmo, up next fighting. We're out.